Hey, what's going on guys? This is going to be my out of box review for the Figure Eyes Mechanics Out of the Lay Chan from Dr. Slump. Now, here we have just the basic kit of Out of the Lay here. I have to admit, um, as much as I like the character design, I'm just a really big fan of Akira Toriyama's uh, work and art style and especially character design and everything like that. It's all very cool. Uh, the kit I, honestly left me a little bit disappointed. Just you know, I don't really know what I was really expecting out of it because, I mean, it's kind of one of those things you just kind of, what you see is what you get. It doesn't really, it wasn't really advertised that it really does a whole lot, but this kit just doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, and it's it's quite simple and I think it's it's got a fair amount of stickers and it's just not really uh, what I was expecting, I guess. Not really what I was hoping for. It's cool, and I think it's fine. It definitely is what it is, but it's, it's all about what you go into the kit uh, expecting, and I think I was expecting just a little bit more out of this kit, and it's just really simple. Nothing wrong with that. It's just, yeah, that's just what it is. So it does have some nice colors, nice parts here if you're just going to build it just straight out of the box and not paint it. Uh, we've got the red for the shirt, blue for the clothes, the shoes, we've got the skin tone there, and of course the purple hair. But pretty much any of the small details you're seeing there is all stickers for this kit. So I think that's one thing that Bendai definitely could have done uh, better is doing mo uh, better part separation for this, but of course that drives up the cost of the kit, uh, and the kit is already costing 2,500 yen. So I think rather than giving the extra runner of clear color parts, it would have been nice to have an extra runner of just more parts for better part separation. Uh, but of course, th that's just kind of where your painting skills will have to come into play. So let's just take a closer look here and I'll point everything out for you guys. So for the eyes, the black part around the outside of the eyes as well as the eyebrows, uh, as that's a separate part. The white part, that's a separate part. But then like the main colored part of the eyes, that is a sticker you'll stick on top of there. That actual plastic is just plain black, but the detail is molded there. So you would be able to paint that uh, with fair amount of ease. The glass is obviously molded in black here and you have a clear lens part to fit inside there. So that's pretty cool. The mouth also pretty nicely color separated there. You have the pink inset part in there and a white part there for the teeth. This little bit of hair coming here over the front of the head will move up and down a little bit. That's for, for when you can bend the head up and down just a slight bit there. That hair will move kind of out of the way. But you'll notice as you're bending the head, uh, the face comes disattached from this part underneath the chin. And then you have to fix that. And that's kind of annoying. You kind of have to pull the head off, fix that, then put it back on. Push that part back into place and then pop it back on the kit like so. But anyway, back down here onto the front, we have little circle yellow stickers there for the little buttons. But actually that whole little clip part is there, supposed to be yellow. Uh, for the sides of the arms, this is just a red part. And then you have a yellow sticker that wraps around there. So that's another sticker. Sticker. The arms will move up and down, but that's pretty much it. Just that rotation there. The hands will also rotate. You'll have a seam line there kind of through the hands. And then down here at the legs, you have a separate part for the skin tone of the legs as well as the white sock, but then a little blue sticker which will wrap around the top of the sock. And then for the shoes, you'll have a white sticker which, sticker, which will fit over the toes of the shoes. This bottom part for the here, the bottom of the shoe, that's a separate white part but we have a sticker there on the top. That said though, the shoes do still need a bit more painting. Those aren't color accurate either. Really kind of only the laces are supposed to be light blue. The whole rest of the shoe is supposed to be a darker blue. So they just kind of didn't want to give us that separate color. Now, Let's talk about some of the things that you get with this kit. Obviously, we get Autolay's signature hat here, which does have some interesting points on it as well. A little separate white part there for the tip on the top, a little separate parts here for the wings, seam lines down the middle of those because those are two halves that sandwich together. This whole front part of the hat, this whole piece here, as you can see on the back, is just all one solid white piece. So you'll have a red sticker, to, sticker which will fit over the top of the uh, brim of the hat here, and then a separate sticker which will fit over the kind of RLA letters there. So that's just one sticker, but it has just black and yellow all together. So you'll have to paint all this yourself. I think what I would end up doing is some sort of reverse wash, but either way, it's not going to be a whole lot of fun having to paint this all and do masking or reverse wash or whatever you're gonna do for that. I think uh, with one or two extra parts, they could have at least eliminated one of those stickers. So that just fits onto the head. It doesn't like clip onto anything. There's nothing really super solid holding it on there. It just uh, fits over the head like so. And that's pretty much it. We got a couple hand options here as well. For the left hand, it's just this uh, hand here holding up like it's high-fiving or saying stop or whatever. This hand also going to have a seam line going all around the outside of that, but that just plugs onto the left. And then for the right side, it's a holding hand here holding onto this stick 
And we have our little pink poop on a stick character, Unchan, there with a little sticker there for his mouth, but you'll have to fill in with panel lines there for the eyes and eyebrows to get an actual look at the expression on his face. But then that just holds on to the hand. So you, I guess you could use kind of any other thing uh, with a just kind of standard size handle if it's just circular to fit into the hand but in terms of what the kit comes with this is it the stick also obviously should be in brown but is molded in black but of course if you take all that stuff off underneath everything she does have her full kind of like robot inner skeleton there which is cool it's a nice gimmick this front part here opens up like so you kind of pull out the door and open that up and there's the school lunch with well, that's another sticker for that inside but again just a, that's a cool detail for that up underneath the hood She's got detail that are up underneath the face as well. If you pull that off, then you can just kind of remove the rest of the parts for that. She's got cool detail up underneath the face here as well. If we just remove a few parts, there you go, for that head inside there. Nice clear parts for the lenses of the eyes. And then the mouth opens up for, I guess that's like a beam weapon. It's the Uncha Cannon, right? So there's that. And then inside the limbs, there's separate parts there as well. So if you remove the extra parts around the limbs, you can have those just like that, just a robot limb. Those are also really nicely detailed, so it's a shame that you're covering that stuff up. No bend there in the elbow or any extra articulation of that. It's just still very static. There you can see just the kind of difference between the robot arm and the regular arm. This stuff all just fits around the outside of that. So very interesting, at least. Okay, and then as mentioned, it does also come with a set of clear color parts so here you can see what the kit looks like using all of the clear color parts included it's the full hat uh the unchan there for the uh, pink dung as well as the parts for the socks the shoes the main parts of the clothes the sleeves for the arms and the mouth obviously a little bit strangely there as well but there you go you can see it with all of the clear color parts added on there and personally i'm just not really too into this it's kind of cool for, like the parts for the main body because where you can see the kind of like uh, inner frame, inner skeleton there, you can see some more of the details of that. So it's nice to be able to like see some of that rather than just covering it up and never seeing it. But at the same time, I think if you really wanted to show that, you could just have it displayed like that without anything on the outside. But it's it's something, like I said, I wish that uh, some of the extra cost of this kit would have gone to a little bit better uh, engineering in terms of part separation, color separation, like that. But what we end up getting is instead just a set of clear color parts so hmm. okay and just for a quick size comparison here for you guys here it is compared with a hd 144 scale gundam kit as you can see not very big it was definitely a little bit smaller than i was expecting as well but yeah that's it's about the size of an sd sort of and it's kind of very similar to that it's like an sd with an inner frame and basically no articulation and that's really going to pretty much do it for the review. There's not really a whole lot much else to talk about it. So I think it's just, as I said in the beginning, one of those things that if you know what you're getting when you're getting into this kit, then I think you'll like it just well enough. You just kind of have to know what it is. And so hopefully this review has been helpful for you guys. And so I should say a big thank you to USA Gundam Store for sponsoring this review. You can check out the link to USA Gundam Store, of course, as always, in the description down below the video. Use that coupon code there, Zaku Aurelius 10 and save 10%. Uh, I've been told that they will be getting these kits, so if you do want to get the uh, Figure Eyes standard, or the Figure Eyes mechanics uh, the kits like this one, and I think the other one is Doraemon, and I, I still think there, there's one more, there's the cat. I don't I still can't remember what the name of it is, but anyway, you can get the these kits and other stuff there on their site, so it's a, it's a cool kit, it's fine. If you're a fan of Arale or a fan of Akira Toriyama artwork or anything, then this makes a perfectly nice kit. I think just for what it is, it might be a little bit overpriced, but uh, if you can get it at a fair price or if you can get it for 10% off, then that's certainly something that will help uh, with that. I'm looking forward to painting this kit. It really doesn't need a whole lot of painting. You could just go in and just like detail paint it and just maybe give it a coat of top coat or something uh, just to make it look less like polystyrene plastic and maybe more like PVC plastic or something like a, it's like a figure or something like that. But I think I do want to go in and actually do a little bit more work on this, so that'll be something I'll work on in the future anyway, removing some of the seam lines and then just painting it up all nice and properly. So when I get a chance, I'll do that. In the meantime, it's a cool kit, so check it out if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this review has been helpful. Leave any of their further questions and comments down there below. As always, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store, use that coupon code ZAKUARELIUS10, save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.